All right, let's go to the next question. What's your recurring nightmare? Uh, recurring nightmare. Hmm. There is one that's happened to me numerous times, and it, like it picks up from where it left off. Mm-hmm. There's this very old wooden house that say it had to be built in like the 1930s. It's in the middle of this very large field, and um, obviously it sounds creepy. And yeah, of course the house is haunted. And uh, every time I have that one, it's like the same thing ever over and over, and it picks up from the same spot over and over and over. So it started off, you know, I'd be outside and, you know, the, the weather and shit, uh, the, the weather and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> the weather and stuff is not, you know, up to par. And I go in and then that's when all this weird stuff starts happening. And, um, you know, just like how old are you in the dream? Like, are you? Uh, I would say I, I, I'm my current age. Yeah. I'm my current age. Like it, it and I, I've been having this dream for a few years now. And it's like my age progresses with it. But it's always like the same scenario. It's so weird. Um, with the job that I have now, I kept having that dream years before I had it. Like hmm. I would just and it, it wasn't a it wasn't a nightmare. It's more like just a vision of, you know, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Like how you would have a, you would see a place before you actually see a place. So have you seen that house? I've never seen this house. Yeah. I've never seen it, and if I were to see it, I have a feeling it's either in Kansas or I, it's somewhere where there's a large plain. It's it's Kansas, it's Georgia, it's something, but it's a wooden house. I know that. Have you had any recent nightmares, like like scary, like waking up sweating? Um, <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> what was the purpose of that? Oh, uh, believe it or not, my nightmares. I won't really consider them nightmares. It's just things that happen in it that's just like not right. Yeah. Um, like, and, like what was the most recent one? Uh, the most recent, um, oh, I was scuba diving for whatever reason. I don't, I've never what? scuba dived a day in my life, but yeah, I was scuba diving in like this really large, elaborate, uh, sea monster, like came out of a cave and like swam right by me and. Instead of running away, I chased it to stab it with a spear. Like that was going to do anything. <laughs> And uh, I stabbed it and woke up. So yeah. weird. Yeah, I, I, man, I can. I, I wish I can like project my dreams out. I, I have some pretty weird movies. Yeah, like my type of dreams are just weird with just people like doing me doing photo shoots. Like my last <laughs> recent one was I was doing a uh, a shoot with a mermaid, but we were underwater. How are you breathing? I don't know logic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like br- <laughs> dreams don't make sense. No. So I just was underwater doing a photo shoot with a mermaid, and she had an attitude. You ever lucid dream? I tried to, like, a while ago, like, years ago. I was listening to a podcast, Radio Lab podcast. Shout out to them on NPR. They uh, were talking about lucid dreaming, and I tried to, like, conjure up a lucid dream. And mm-hmm. it's hard, bro. It's, it takes – you have to be really dedicated to do it. I tell you what, when you do, it's amazing. Yeah. When you have full control over it everything that's yeah. happening in your dream i mean the i've, best I've feeling had ever. The, to the point where i'm aware that i'm in a dream mm-hmm. and if something happens i will i will try to like all right let's check control as soon as i do that i get up ah uh, so it's like see so at that point you actually were lucid dreaming yeah. it's just you didn't get deep into it i've gotten to the point where i can completely manipulate my surroundings i can fly i i had super strength i can transform like i, I got yeah. to that point like i can manipulate anything because i knew i was dreaming that's pretty dope and weirdly enough they all start off as like nightmares like something's happening and then i i think it'll be something that's just like wait a minute yeah. like do you have any like fears like do you, are you like scared of anything like that uh, i mean i have arachnophobia no i mean like you know um let me see like scared of the dark type shit no, I'm not afraid of the dark heights. Because um. I feel like a lot of people are, like, very scared of this, you know, supernatural. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they have nightmares because they're constantly thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But when I have dreams about the supernatural, I end up, like, I, I wouldn't say lucid dreaming, but I'll wake up and be aware. Of like, oh, this is just some scary monster girl. I thought about her because <laughs> I, I just watched the movie Anna, you know, some horror you know, movie. I just thought about something. After the uh, Harley Davidson leaves, 
I think it's like self inflicted because I, I've started reading a lot of the uh Korra Digest mm-hmm. uh horror stories. Yeah, I love horror I, stories. I, I binge read them so before I go to bed just to have like fun dreams and it always works. There's a podcast called um Spooked mm-hmm. and I'm subscribed to them. They have horror podcasts. This October they had like twenty six episodes and it's nothing but like true horror stories from like all over the world. People in Asia, Mexico, uh, Hawaii. The last two episodes were in Hawaii. And it's all true stories, all verified. Mm-hmm. And it's just amazing to me. They have music. They have the themes. It's it's scary as that shit. That sounds fun. We should probably do that next yeah, year. I'm down. 